Welcome to EA UFC. distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. Throws it in the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers you've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Three years apart, some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 210 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inches tall, weighing in at 248 pounds. Fighting out of Nagoya, Japan, Juggernaut! Alright, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. Classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. <laughs> this one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Trying to establish that jab once again. Let's go. 
Oh, and that kick is blocked. with the left there. Let's go, you can do this. Keep going forward. All right, he goes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds an option. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Nice looping punch. Nice liver shot lands. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Man, these guys are flowing back and forth. Just misses there with the left. Side leg kick is there. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, that big knee. knee. That knee hurt him. Oh, huge block. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. A oh, little single collar tie there. Ooh, what a punch. Big hook to the chin. Superman punch now. Oh, big knee. Oh, he got him hurt bad. And they separate. Oh. Oh, straight right. That was not good. Nice strike. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Big leg kick land. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh. <laughs> right hook to the head block. Educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he drops that jab, it comes right back to his face. 20 seconds left. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside legs. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Five minutes in the books. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Round two is underway. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Up, but man, is he hurt! A finish could come here at any time. Oh, straight right! Oh, nice 
right hand. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. He's got to flip his hip into that kick. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice straight punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish his fight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Right hand on point. Oh, big punch land. Just over three minutes to go now. Able to check that kick as well. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Goodness, what a fight. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest. Now two minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. We're going to the winner by knockout, Jagger Knight. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like 